Carrying his team, Mr. Consistent. He continues to dominate 25-7 and 17 in a win against Damon, the Trailblazers. And oh, by the way, without either Kyrie or KD, co-host of the First Take, Her Take podcast, Chaneo Gumake is joining us right now. Where's my girl? There she is, hey, and that beautiful up. smile, Chanae. Yeah. Good to see you. What's up? Yes, hey. yes, I see you. Nice to see you. West Coast see now, can I have even some though you're really tea? Houston. Can I have Excuse some of that tea? No, 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 no. I don't can share I have some my tea. tea, Stephen A. I don't, I don't share my tea. I don't share my tea. I keep it to myself. All right, we miss you in Cali, Stephen A. We do. Oh, I'm you too, back. Max. Oh, I'm coming back. Of course, Molly. I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll be back in a week. I'll be back in a week. I'll be there. Okay, good. Good. Oh, Just making sure. Okay. Okay, but. <laughs> okay, by Coastal, settle down. No um, Max, I'm starting with you. <laughs> oh, settle right <laughs> down. The ego, I don't even know how you fit in that little box right now. Ain't no sunshine when I'm gone. I don't even want to know who or what you're talking about. Max, should Harden be a favorite <laughs> for MVP? He's on one. He, he is a favorite for sure. I think now that, look. In the beginning of the season, up until he got hurt, I thought MB Embiid was the MVP of the league. Then once Embiid went down, okay, it's got to be LeBron. Because those guys, LeBron hadn't missed any time, missed one game before the All-Star break, was carrying the team, no AD, the whole thing. Now with LeBron down, yeah, Harden's there with, I think my two other picks right now are Jokic and Damian Lillard. I think those three guys are all in the mix because LeBron's going to miss some significant time and so is Embiid. Look. The, the argument against Harden originally for me, not to put him ahead of the other two guys I just mentioned, uh, LeBron and Embiid, is because he missed time with his team, with the Nets, and his play in Houston, and then subsequent, like not benching, but kind of taking him out of the lineup in Houston, means he couldn't be available, obviously, for the Nets, and wasn't playing at a very high level in the beginning of the year anyway. But look at what happened to Houston since he left. They fall apart, and look what he's doing in Brooklyn, playing, I think, the best ball of his entire career, which is really saying something. He's carrying the team without KD. KD's barely been there, and yet the Nets are a powerhouse. And now he's doing it without Kyrie. So the, those, that beginning portion of the season he missed, which would put him behind LeBron and Embiid, now to me, you can throw that out because those guys are missing time. And given the fact what happened to the team he left and the team he went to, and given what he's had around him, it's a big three, which is really a lot of the time just a big one or at most a big two. I think it's Harden, Lillard, and Jokic. It's a three-horse race right now. Harden is right there. See, wait, wait, I, I, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, Molly. Molly, let me get him. Let me get him, Molly. Let me get him in here. Let me get him. Let me get him, because I know where you're going, Molly. I know where you're going, Molly. I know where you're going. I'm not going to just get on the vagueness of it all, him being all around the block, up the block, down the damn avenue and everywhere else. I'm not going to even go one there. Place. Didn't we just have a discussion yesterday, oh, Molly, when he was talking about Damian Lillard, and now you don't even mention him in your top three? I mean, what, what the hell? I just did. I, uh, I just you, did. What, what did you say? I said Lillard and Jokic and Harden. You said, you said Jokic. He said, said Lillard. Lillard. I have. All right. Yeah, but I, I, that's but that's not Lillard. answering the Lillard. question. Lillard and I said, Lillard. should James Harden My apologies, be? I didn't hear Lillard. Hold on. I, I said, Lillard. should James Harden be? Should James Harden be the MVP favorite? That's what I asked. Should James Harden? I didn't ask for your top three. I didn't ask for your candidates or who it was yesterday, Dame Lou today. Is James Harden an MVP favorite? Only James. I'm asking about. If. Right now, if I have to pick a favorite, you're going to say, pick one, I'm going to say Harden, because in addition to everything else I said, he Thank plays you. in a major media market and gets more attention. So hold if it, I have to it, say there's it, a tiebreaker, that's it, it, Harden's the favorite Major right now. media market has nothing to do with the question of how you sure feel. Does. She didn't ask you about Brooklyn and it being in the media capital of the world, New York City. Molly asked you how Max Kellerman feels. You. How do you feel? Should he be number one right now? He shouldn't be number one if you're asking me how I feel. I would have Lillard a hair above him okay. and then Harden and then Jokic. Okay. If I'm forced okay. to put them in order according okay. not to what I think is going to happen, but my right. own opinion. Right. right. I, I, I thought that on first take it was automatically assumed that we were asking your opinion. I apologize that we had to explain that to you. <laughs> Max <laughs> Kellerman, who's been on the show for four and a half favorite, damn years. The I'm favorite, sorry. Or I'm is sorry. I have to explain that to you. Okay. Favorite anyway, to I'll be quiet. Here's the deal. 
Harden should be number one right now, considering the fact that LeBron is out, Embiid is out, okay? Um, and, and because of that, I look at Harden right now because I had Harden in my top three. The bottom line is this. Damian Lillard should be in the argument. I get all of that because he's averaging 30 and he's been absolutely sensational. But they're four and a half games worse, about four games worse. They're like the sixth seed in the Western Conference. Harden's a game out of the number one seed. He hasn't had Kevin Durant available to him for at least 20-plus games. The same could be said for Kyrie Irving, who's missed about 12 or 13. James Harden, and this is where James Harden and Damian Lillard are worthy of being brought up together in this one, in this one instance, Janae. The availability matters. The fact that James Harden goes out there night in and night out and has been doing it for years is something special to behold. See, when we talk about an MVP, I don't want to just look at numbers and I don't want to just look at heroics. I want to look at reliability. The fact that I can trust that no matter the circumstances or the conditions, you're going to show up to perform. And I don't think that James Harden gets nearly enough credit for that. The brother does not like to take time off. He shows up. And when you consider the numbers he's putting up, the leadership that he's provided, particularly from the point guard spot, I'm going to put Damian Lillard in the discussion, but I got James Harden at number one right now considering the fact that both LeBron and Embiid are injured. And Stephen A, I will give you a clear answer, contrary to Max. Yes, he should absolutely right now to this moment, to the second, be the favorite for MVP. And I know it's complicated because James Harden is a polarizing player, but you mentioned it. Like, we knew we were walking into a season, which I have called it two seasons pretty much wrapped into one with 71 days in between for the finals teams. We knew that the best quality a player can have is availability and the best chance at a team's success is health and health has been a huge factor in the MVP conversation. So on paper, yes, James Harden should be the front runner for MVP in this moment. He's first in the NBA in minutes played. He's averaging, what, a triple-double almost, 25 points, leading the league in assists. And now, you know, you, you see this situation where Brooklyn has maintained their standings, you know, uh, second in the Eastern Conference standings, one game back from the 76ers. He's kept them afloat amidst all of this change. And the reality is, missing AD and the Lakers losing in that interim five straight has hurt LeBron James's chances the same way it's hurt Joel Embiid missing the last few weeks. That hurt his chances because I had Joel as MVP sort of at All-Star break. But standing in the midst of all this chaos and all this change, you know, as a beacon of dependability is James Harden. You know, as a person that was born and raised in Houston, Texas, I call myself Chanae the Stallion, 281713832, you know the area code. Um, I think a lot of people feel some type of way about how, you know, things went down with James Harden. But as an athlete myself, that has sort of forced a trade, low-key. Um, he's dealt with the criticism. He showed up. He showed out without KD. And now sometimes Kyrie. And now he's onboarding Blake Griffin. We all know how the story goes. James is a polarizing player. His step backs, him getting to the foul line. But the fact that he's been able to turn the public discourse around so quickly is a testament to how valuable but, he has been. So he absolutely right now yes, should probably well, be the partly, favorite. Even though, and, yeah. And hold on, Max, because this is the point that I want to make to you, Max, as well. One of the times, and listen, even in, and in fairness to you, you've basically, you know, made a 360 turn in that regard when it comes to, or at least a 180 with, with James Harden. From the standpoint, we, so many people will call him selfish. He's been anything but in Brooklyn. He has led. He has been selfless. He has balled out. And he has been incredibly, incredibly dependable to take over point guard duties and to run this team and to have players raving about your leadership. We never thought we'd hear that. From, 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 from people playing with James Harden. That's exactly well, never, what we've been hearing in Brooklyn. I didn't say you said it. I'm just talking about you talking about I never about did a 180 because really? I never said he was selfish, ever. I never thought of Harden as a selfish player. I thought of him as a choker in the playoffs. I still need to see him elevate in the playoffs, but I never thought he was selfish. I thought that was always totally overblown. And in fact, I stood up for him when, when, that, when that subject would come up. I never considered him a selfish player. He's playing... An even more unselfish game. Like, his team needed him to score all the time in Houston. They need him to do some other things in Brooklyn. He'll do what the team needs him to do, and availability's big. He played with real neck stiffness and soreness. A lot of guys would have taken the day off. He didn't and delivered his team a win. I just want to mention something about Damian Lillard. What's Portland played? 20, uh, 43 games now? 
What, what is what is 41, Lillard I think. They're like 26 and 15. They're like 20, yeah. 41 of them? He don't miss games. 22, 42, you act 42. like Lillard does miss games. He's no, averaging, that's why I said I brought, that's why I brought Lillard up. He's averaging 30 and almost 8. That's that what I mentioned. I said Lillard and Harden don't he's miss averaging, games. He's averaging, he's averaging 30 and almost 8. And by the way, just like Harden, and this is why to me Lillard's right there. Because the argument you can make for Harden, he didn't have KD, and now sometimes he doesn't have Kyrie. Well, we all know Lillard has less around him than Harden. If yeah, but Harden healthy. went to a but new team. What? He didn't Harden have went to a new team. or Nurkic. Harden, Harden, Harden went but, to a new Lillard team. But Lillard plays in the Western but, Conference. But, but there, no, were, no there team, are guys no on Portland squad. No player has squad. ever won MVP while switching teams. Right. So this is on pace for right, James right. So what you right guys now. are saying. I think that's Stephen A's what point. What you guys are saying. We know what we're saying. The America knows what we're saying. We're confused about what you're saying. Hold up. Hold up. What you... What you guys are saying is Harden is having a more impressive season because, oh, look, he also switched go. teams. He did this, he did go. that. There we go. That, we're not talking about that. We're talking about who's more Lillard. valuable. Okay. Okay. Lillard's been there the whole time. Okay. Lillard doesn't miss games. Lillard's carried a team in a harder conference, racked with injuries, with less talent than the Nets. Lillard's putting up 30 points a game with almost eight assists. If you make the argument for Harden, all the arguments you make for him apply to Lillard. And we, that's why we said but Harden and Lillard. We just have Harden number one because he went to a new team and he's doing what he's doing. That's number one. Number two, it's just amazing to me. You really, really think that you have to de define what the word impressive means to people? You really think that? <laughs> Thank you. You think we don't know the you, difference? You're bringing up I mean, stuff that has nothing to do with value. I mean, the, the it's stuff MVP. that you you're bringing up stuff. stuff Excuse value. me. Uh, again, he, wins, he goes to a new team. He's more dependable than the two cornerstones, right. the two supposed cornerstones of the franchise. They're one game out of the number one seed uh -huh. in the Eastern Conference. But we're By comparing the way, an Eastern, Lillard, Conference, Stephen, an Eastern Conference with Philly, an Eastern Conference with Milwaukee. We can't mm -hmm. ignore that as well. The bottom we line is that when we look at Lillard, Lillard's been balling, which is why he's in the conversation. But he's been on a team with those players that he's incredibly familiar with, the ones that he's got left outside of Nurkic and C.J. McCollum. That What's wasn't that the case with, with value? Harden, which is not something to ignore. What's that? No, no, that's what I mean. You're not talking value now. You're talking what Harden is doing is more difficult, more impressive. What's that got to do with value to your team? I'm sorry. Lillard's that, been there the I'm whole sorry. time, done no, everything Harden that did, does, that has, but has been there the whole to do time. With it. That's why you shouldn't talk basketball, because that does have something to do with it. It absolutely does. Thank Go you. Ahead, that is more impressive. Okay. You, you're seeing his value with where the Rockets were to where they are now. But, yeah, go ahead, Molly. Thank you, Cheney. Thank you for listening. I, I really appreciate that. All right, a couple things I Always. need to say here. The Nets are an NBA best, 11-1 and one against the West, okay? They play the Jazz tonight. Stephen A., you're going to do the pregame show before that, potential finals matchup. Uh, also, Charles Barkley was on Greeny's radio show just a few moments ago. He said Harden is the MVP. And my last note here, check out the First Take, Her Take podcast with your girl, Cheney, and Charlie, and Kimberly the Martin. Right they have a new episode. Let's go. Every Wednesday. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Chene. Appreciate you. We'll talk to you soon. When we come back here on First Take, Josh Gordon says he will not quit in his pursuit.